Arthur Boyd famously said, no one man can own a landscape. And I think that was the driving factor for the gifting of Bundanon by Arthur Boyd, his wife Yvonne Boyd, to the Australian people. This new chapter for Bundanon is a stepping up and outwards into the world. We're opening full time for the first time to the public. You have our beautiful new art museum. And of course here you have the bridge, which is a multi-purpose space. It's a creative learning facility. When I made this move to Bundanon, I relocated from the inner west of Sydney to the Shoalhaven region. It's a huge shift from harbour views in the CBD to the most majestic south coast landscape. In my previous roles, my primary relationship has been working with artists and artworks. I think I spent the first months of my arrival at Bundanol talking about sewage. Sewage systems, drainage, hilly landscape, brand new build. And you have this enormous environmental responsibility. There are over 20 endangered species on site. Everything from endangered frog species, for example, the stuttering frog, which I love, through to eagles and cockatoos. absolutely not something we want to go through ever again. That has been absolutely top criteria within the design of the art museum. Situated into the side of a hill that creates a barrier in terms of fire. Only the front facade is exposed, which of course is concrete, and the latest Rural Fire Service approved Nilfar glass, RFS glass, so it's very important technology in terms of fire resistance. The bridge is the classic design of a trestle bridge or a flood bridge, and it is slung from one hillside to the other across a flood gully, so the water runs between and underneath the bridge structure. It's held up very well in terms of the recent flooding. We had all these fabulous launch events planned and you can just imagine they were planned at the exact time that the floods happened. So one of my first calls as CEO was to actually cancel our entire launch event. Our first exhibition is called Impulse to Action and that exhibition takes the work of Arthur Boyd, places it in conversation with 12 contemporary artists. All have spent time on site, many are local or regional. There are some fantastic elders from the community who've contributed to the exhibition. We heard about Bandanon Gitnis New museum and they're building it underground. Oh, wow. They've got in touch with us and asked us to do an AWI. We searched around the local property because we wanted it to come off country. When you check a tree, you go and hug it. If your hands don't touch, you know it's a perfect tree for an AWI. You just need to scar the tree, and with our ancestors done for thousands of years. When this exhibition's over, we're going to do the run and repairs on it and actually put it on the river again. It is about community and connection. It's about bringing people together and sharing ideas. It's why I wanted to be here. I wanted to be part of shaping this new chapter and making it something that the Australian public can really become a part of.